Welcome to Blue Talks. What does it mean to break quantum physics? That seems like an odd thing to say, considering quantum physics is now proving what the gurus have been teaching for over a thousand years. But what if I told you no matter how far we go into the quantum field, we're still observing the matrix? About a year ago, a really good friend of our family's, Vale, passed away on his 22nd birthday. A few days after he passed away, he came to me. And the very first thing he said was, it's not supposed to be this way. We're not supposed to die. And I knew what he was saying was true because I've been studying the body for 30 years on a quantum level. And what I've learned in those 30 years is that the body is stuck in a looping cycle of age and disease. And this looping cycle can be broken. He had me take out a piece of paper and a pencil and I started writing out very specific equations. And these equations were how to take the body out of the leaping cycle of age and disease. And I have to say, I didn't understand everything that he was saying, but one thing I did understand, and that's what I wanna share with you today. So what Vale showed me was that when we are born and when we pass away, there's a chemical that's released, and most of us know what this chemical is, DMT. But what he showed me was that there's a frequency that is connected to this chemical. And that frequency is pure source intelligence. And this intelligence is who we are at our innate level. And this intelligence is transcribed into the DNA when we are born and then when we pass away, that same frequency releases and we move back into our innate being. So how do we break quantum physics? We begin to reprogram our cells. Why would we wanna reprogram the cells and not the mind? Well, when we start to reprogram on a cellular level, we begin to release this intelligence. And this intelligence is a frequency. And when that frequency is released into the body, our consciousness begins to attune to it. Our consciousness begins to match this intelligence. So when we reprogram on a cellular level, we are bypassing subconscious. We are bypassing the part of us that's an observation of programmed reality. You could even say we bypass the ego because the ego is the part of us that has to be an observation in order to exist. But the true nature of who we are is pure source intelligence. So what is consciousness <laughs> and how do we use it? So consciousness is the tool, it's the gift that we were given to become pure source intelligence. Consciousness is the part that we can use. It's a gateway between observation and becoming pure source intelligence. Once we are in observation of a program or programmed reality, even the observation of our own bodies, we have consciousness that can bridge that ob observation into this intelligence. Consciousness is the tool that we can use to become our innate being. And of course, we're going to experience consciousness in different ways. The more that this frequency is released into our body, the more that we will breach this consciousness. But this is a state of being. It is a frequency. I can see, you can see it like a ladder. The higher the ladder we go, the more intelligent we become. And the higher we go, the less we are in observation of the very loop we are all trying to break free from.
knowing what level of consciousness we're in is the biggest part of actually becoming 100% human potential. It is how we break the looping cycle of age and disease. It is how we break quantum physics. The first level of consciousness we will all experience over and over and over again. It's when we are just unconscious. <laughs> We're going to have this happen multiple times as we climb that ladder of becoming 100% human potential, source intelligence. But when we awaken to what it is that we're unconscious of, we create a choice. This is a very powerful place to be because once we know how we were living unconsciously, once we know that we are pure source intelligence, we have a choice. We can either keep living unconsciously or we can create something different. And this is what brings us in to the third level of consciousness. But this is also the level of consciousness that most of us get stuck in. I call this level the trying to make it happen. <laughs> because once we are awoken, once we know that we are living our lives in a way that we don't want to live, once we realize that we are pure self-intelligence, we want to <coughs> become something different. We want to turn on 100% potential. We want to have the experience of what that's like. But then if we're trying to create something different from the same level of consciousness that we are in, it's really, really hard to do. But this is also the level of consciousness where observation can get in our way. Because the truth is, if we're still in observation, then we are still in the third level of consciousness. Even when we're observing the Akashic records, the quantum field, we are still in observation. And if we are observing something, we are still in the matrix. We are still observing the very looping cycle that we're trying to break free from. This brings us in to the fourth level of consciousness. The fourth level of consciousness is what I call the listen and do. But you can put whatever word there. If you sense, if you just know, if you see, but in this level of consciousness, that observation that there is new information coming in is very, very brief. That's when we are in observation that there is an intelligence beyond programmed reality. And then in that moment, we attune consciousness to the intelligence and we have the experience of that intelligence beyond observation altogether meaning we step into the intelligence and receive the information, and then we go and do it. We act upon it. But there is not a place in there where we're observing what is being created. We're just listening and doing. And then this brings us into the fifth level of consciousness. Once we truly master being in the fourth level of consciousness, we become pure source intelligence. When we meet the fifth level of consciousness, we become the creator in the creation at the same time. Observation goes away and we truly begin to break quantum physics because we are living through an intelligence that's in pure expression. Just really listen to that word, pure expression. You could even put the word projection there. We're in projection of source intelligence. There is no observation. Observation does not exist. So how do we break quantum physics? We become pure source intelligence. We become the expression of pure source intelligence. And we break through all of the looping cycles that are within the matrix. 100% human potential is transcribed in the DNA. Every time that we want to go outside of ourselves to find the answer, we need to turn it around. I have a saying, turn everything inside out. Just turn it inside out. So every time that we say something, we take that and then we bring it to the expression of source frequency. <coughs> From that place, we can reimagine everything. 
we rediscover who we are when we are in our innate being. And everything does start to change. We change the looping cycles of the body, of the mind, the way we relate to other people. Because when we are in expression of pure source intelligence, it is a place of magic. It is a place where we find out just how powerful that we are, but it's a power that everybody has. It's a power that we all are here to experience. So why haven't we experienced it yet? Have you ever felt on an innate level that you should be able to heal instantly? But then when you go to do it, you can't. There's a reason for that. And the reason is because we are in observation of what was broken. But if we brought in, turned on that pure source intelligence, and then we use the place where we're observing that there is something that is off, that's out of balance, but then we immediately attune consciousness to the intelligence, because within that intelligence, everything is perfect. And when we do this over and over and over again, what begins to happen is that cells move out of the observation of its reality. Right now, epigenetics is a big topic. Epigenetics get turned on because of our environment, the environment of the body, the environment of the room. But when we bring the cell and we actually bring it into the intelligence that is stored on a DNA level, the cell moves out of the looping cycle and moves into expression. In expression, it is no longer looking outside of itself to, to know if it's in a good environment or not. It is just pure source intelligence. This brings the body into a completely different space of being and your consciousness gets to take the ride. So consciousness is the tool that we will all use to become 100% human potential. Would you like to experience DNA intelligence? Yes, please. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So if you would like to, I'm going to have you shut your eyes. And uh, if you want to uh, place your hands on your heart, you can do that as well. And then just taking in a deep breath. And as you're breathing in, seeing this rainbow light move up through the nose and having it trace along your brain and moving down through your spine and then out through the mouth. And this rainbow light holds seven elements that hold seven states of consciousness, bringing you into a zero point. And on the next breath, if you want to allow this light to enter into the mind, you can see it entering your heart, even going into the bloodstream as it enters every cell and every molecule of your body. And just notice as this light is entering your body that you begin to relax, your mind may slow down. And then bring your attention to the center of your physical brain. And you might see a little tiny blue light in the center of your brain. Go ahead and bring your consciousness into this light. And as soon as you enter the light, expand the light to encompass your entire brain, allowing your thought to move into zero point. And that will take you into the pineal gland where the ascended cell, this is the cell that is connected to that DMT, but we're connecting to the frequency today. And we'll move right into the nucleus of the cell, right into the double helix. And we'll turn on pure source intelligence. And just by asking, this intelligence begins to expand. And as it's expanding, it's moving out of the cell, out of the pineal gland, connecting to 
the frequency of DMT, of pure source intelligence. Noticing as this light moves into your brain that it's electrifying synapse responses that hold the ability to be conscious within this intelligence. Now feeling that same frequency moving down through your spinal fluid as it's activating very specific ions within the spinal fluid. You may feel it almost like a bubbling effect as this happens. And then this frequency is activated in every cell of the body. And as it's activated, it's connecting to a very specific form of water within your body called H3O2. And this water has an electricity to it. And this electricity has the ability to hold intelligence. So experiencing this electricity, it's almost like your body becomes an electric light show. And all of these beautiful frequencies begin to click together. And as they're clicking together, it's creating a, a grid system. And this grid system becomes your divine technology. It's the part of you that can exist as pure source intelligence in physical form. And now just breathing in, seeing yourself as this beautiful divine being. Now allow your consciousness to enter this being. Let, allow your consciousness to enter into this electric frequency. Allow your consciousness to meet pure source intelligence. And before you open your eyes, allow yourself to have this experience knowing that when you open your eyes with choice, you can see through this intelligence. You can hear through this intelligence and you can discover who you are as this intelligence. Now go ahead and open your eyes. And from this point forward, asking yourself, if I am pure source intelligence, how will I live my life? What choices will I make? How will I be thinking? And how will I be? This is the beginning of breaking quantum physics. Thank you. <laughs>